Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the Maximize Clicks bid strategy. I'm going to go over what it is, the pros and cons to it, and essentially where you should use it inside Google Ads. Now, to start off, what is the Maximize Clicks bid strategy? And defined by Google, Maximize Clicks bid strategy is an automated bid strategy that automatically sets your bid to help get as many clicks as possible within your budget. Now, a lot of people automatically assume, like, I don't really want clicks. I want leads and conversions. I don't want, you know, just crap tons of clicks. And I understand, but one thing you have to realize is that in order to make good decisions, Google's AI needs a lot of data. And the best way to get data to make these decisions is by using the maximized click spread strategy, figuring out what clicks are good and which clicks are bad and which ones we should be bidding on to get the most leads. And you really don't want to take the risk of just, you know, throwing a whole bunch of money at clicks that may or may not convert, especially if they're very high price compared to the other clicks. This is one of the things we always do inside of an account. We always start out with maximized clicks, see where the data is is see which keywords are converting best and then go from there and once we have about 30 or so conversions within a month we'll then switch it over to target cpa that way we can give google the reins but we don't do that until we actually have the actual data for the keywords we want to go after and this really allows google's ai to really kick in and boost up the conversion rate and get better leads now there are sometimes you don't want to be using maximized clicks and i normally see this within really large cities and it's generally due to click fraud. If there is a lot of click fraud in a city, chances are most of those clicks are gonna be picked up by the maximize clicks bid strategy. Uh, I've only seen this happen once or twice. It doesn't happen all that often, but you can go into the actual campaign and then go over to the column and then you'll be able to add the actual invalid click rate and that will tell you how many invalid clicks you're getting in Google. If this is over 20%, chances are you might want to just go with the target CPA strategy, but it's much better to have a maximized click strategy. That way you have as much data to play with as possible. Determine what keywords are worth going after. Determine if your landing pages are good. Determine if your ad click through rates are good. It really just helps out a tremendous amount and really allows you to optimize your account very, very quickly. So how do we go about changing our bid strategy to maximize clicks and the way we do this is come over to Google Ads we're going to select a campaign let's do the actual search campaign here and we're going to come down here to settings you can also access it in more details um, either way works what we're going to do is come down to the actual bidding strategy right now we're set in manual CPC I'm going to we're going to hit change bid strategy we're going to click on manual CPC and then we're going to click on maximize clicks now something important to note is you have to set a maximum cost per click bid limit. If you do not, your budget can be burned very, very quickly. And what I recommend doing is going into the keyword planner up here in tools and settings, and then going over to keyword planner, opening this in a new tab, and then scrolling down and typing in the keywords you actually want to target. So for this one, let's do pool installation. And we're going to geo modify this for the area we want to target make sure you actually geo modify this if you don't you're going to get inaccurate data and that's going to be very bad because you won't be able to tell uh, if the actual cost is relevant so we're going to type in pool installation and as we can see the top of page bid range the low range and the high range uh, i generally go in the middle here i find the highest top of page bid range so let's say that's $13 I would add these two numbers up divide by two so 16 divided by two is eight and you could set that as your maximum cost per bid limit if you wanted to be more aggressive you can set this just to the actual highest top of page bid range you can find that will give you most likely the best results in terms of getting the most data the quickest but you're going to need a bigger budget for that so keep that in mind so we're going to set this to right around eight dollars what I like doing is adding a decimal point after this because it is in an auction house if you add 0.52 or 0.51 that can make the difference between you getting a click and not getting a click so I always add that you know 0.52 or point you know 11 or 17 whatever it is just to give you a little bit of an edge and that's very important always set a maximum cost per click otherwise Google is just going to bid whatever it wants and uh, you can burn your budget very quickly so once we've had that set we can hit save and our bidding strategy has been changed to maximize clicks now after that my recommendations for this would be let it run for at least 30 days maybe even two months depending on how much data you want to gather once you have right around 30 conversions I would then switch over to target CPA that way Google can optimize with its AI and generally get you much better results but we want as much data as quickly as possible in our account and maximize clicks is the best way to do that so that's maximize clicks summed up if you have any comments questions or concerns about it leave it down in the comment section down below i'd be happy to answer it other than that you guys have a wonderful day and take care